1. The Crime Black Boy I wish I were invisible. Wearing Harry Potter's invisibility cloak or Frodo Baggins' elvish ring. Whether shrouded in fabric or slipping on gold, it wouldn't matter to me. I'd be gone. Disappeared. I stare at my hands. Nighttime dark. They have a life of their own. Clenching. Unclenching. Fist, then no fist. I keep my shoulders relaxed. My face, bland. My hands won't behave. No science fiction or fantasy is going to help me. I live in a too real world. Sitting, I stare at the black specks on the white linoleum. A metaphor? That's what they're teaching me in English. Metaphor. Except I won't believe I'm just a black speck. I'm bigger. More than that. Though sometimes I feel like I'm swimming in whiteness. Most of the students at Middlefield Prep don't look like me. They don't like me either. I look up. The secretary, Mrs. K, even the assistant headmaster, Mr. Waters, with his tartan tie, avert their eyes. They've been staring, wondering, how come he gets in so much trouble? Why can't he be good like his brother? Helpful. Obedient. Under my breath, I curse. My stomach twists. Be invisible. My insides burn. Anger builds. This has nothing to do with me. I'm not here. Dante is not here. My right foot taps uncontrollably. If I sit any longer, I'll explode. Dante? Headmaster McGeary says warily. I stand. Sir, be cool, I tell myself. It's 2.46 p.m. Couldn't you have finished the day without getting in trouble? This isn't the way it's supposed to go down. He's supposed to call me into his office, shut the door, talk privately with me. Now he's scolding me in public. The headmaster's eyelids are heavy, puffy. He's tired, but I'm tired too. Every week. I'm punished for something I didn't do. I clutch my left fist with my hand. It's still trying to move, open and shut. My right leg trembles. Mr. Waters smirks. The secretary's eyes show pity. Pity pushes me over the edge. I didn't do anything, I blurt. Like the time before, and the time before that, and the time before that, I didn't do anything. The two men grow taller, rigid, bracing, readying to take me down. They don't like me too loud. I exhale. My dad's been to war. Two tours. No matter what I do, I'm outflanked. I quiet my voice, try to speak reasonably. In my head, I hear, speak truth to power. Mom's favorite phrase. Then... Dad adding, respectfully. I try to steal my body, but I feel a trembling in my hands, up my spine. The wall clock's minute hand clicks. 2.48 p.m. I hate this school.